Well, hi there. Welcome to my art studio. Today I want to show you my painting process for this abstracted flowers painting I'm working on, this little study. These dahlias, as they eventually turned in to be, went through changes. And that's what I want to talk about today, how paintings go through a lot of changes. And as I look at this painting in the video, as I'm recording the audio for it, I see how it looked in the beginning and I had forgotten about the yellow background and the dark color at the bottom with the purple. And I kind of, sometimes I regret covering some of that stuff up. But that's the way it goes. Paintings just evolve and they go through all these changes and, you know, sometimes... I don't always make the best choices on what I edit out or even leave in, but that's part of it. That's using your artistic voice, picking out places that you like and either leaving them or, you know, just going for it and covering it up with something in hopes of making it better. Sometimes that doesn't always happen. But I like the bottom of that where the purple meets the darkness and it has that bright yellow, the contrast in the background. And Now I know what this painting ends up looking like, so that all pretty much goes later as you watch me here paint. It's in double time right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm watching along with you, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, why did I do that? <laughs> why did I cover that up? But the end result I ended up pretty happy with, with this painting. It reminds me of when I was a little girl, I had this fantastic large book of fairy tales. And I think that was the, is it Allsop fairy tales? And I was born in the 70s. Actually, it was 1970. So, you know, art was still exploding from the 60s. And I just love that style. And this reminded me of that. And I did not think of that style when I was painting this. And it really doesn't look at all like that style from that fairy tale book. But it just gives that feeling. And I really liked it. Maybe I was channeling my inner child during it and I did not re did not realize it it looks kind of like a hot mess right now though <laughs> it gets better I promise I love dahlias now these are abstracted dahlias I don't know of any dahlias that have really long petals like that but you know in my world they do in my imagination world. That's one of the great things about being an artist. Well, it's once you get past a certain point, you have to get past the point of trying to create things that you see and you use your imagination. At least for me, that's the most magical part of being an artist. Being able to create things that don't really exist, part of my imagination, part of spontane spontaneity, of just the brush and hand. Sometimes it feels like my hand just has a mind of its own, and it doesn't really listen to my brain sometimes. I drop the brush a lot. That's so aggravating. But I'm trying not to hold it so tight. Because when you hold your brush really tight, you know, your painting, you have that death grip on your brush. Your painting starts to look tight and rigid. And I don't like that. I'm trying to get, move away from that. And you can see that I keep trying to move my hand further to the tip of the brush. I'll correct myself. It's in the middle now, but I'll remember and I'll try to put my hand at the, at the, towards the back of the brush. So I don't have as much control. That's the reason why I do that. 
I love the blues and greens and pinks and dark purples and orchids, lavenders. Since in a garden theme here, <laughs> I think in the terms of flowers a lot of the time. See, right now it's really starting to, oh yeah, it looks like a dahlia. I think it was starting to strike me there. These are dahlias, okay. <laughs> they just kind of appeared. There's a little bit of that yellow still in there peeking through. But back to changes in our art, it just comes with putting miles on the brush, using your imagination, not being afraid to go in and mess it up. And I have messed up many paintings or what I felt like I was messing up. Sometimes it's for the better because we get attached or at least I do, I get attached to certain parts of the painting and I don't want to mess them up, mess them up in my mind. You can't really mess anything up because it's just paint. You can go back in and paint over it. There's a freedom about that, knowing that if I do screw it up, I can go back in. Now, sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I think I don't want to take the time to go back in and fix that thing. But if you want the painting to look like what the vision you have in your mind is, you will do that. And sometimes I just go with it. If it doesn't turn out the way I think it's supposed to turn out, well, then it's just turned out the way that it's so, that it, it's its own mind is going to make it turn out. That doesn't make any sense, but it does in my head. <laughs> the words are not coming out right. Most of my paintings go through quite a change. They go through different phases. You know, you have the optimistic phase in the beginning, excitement with a new painting. Oh, where is this going to lead? And then despair sometimes in the middle, maybe the middle of the painting, you know, what a, a lot of artists call the ugly stage. And you think, oh, this is total crap. I'm crap. <laughs> what do I think I'm doing? I don't know what I'm doing. And then the stage starts to progress and you pull out of it and you're like, hey, you know, this doesn't look so bad after all. You stand back. You really need to do that. Stand back from your painting. Maybe take a break. Go get a cup of something to drink. Have a lunch break. Come back to the painting with fresh eyes. And really you can see then what the painting needs or maybe the painting is finished and it doesn't require any more changes but maybe it does oh see I'm trying to add some of that orange and yellow back in there because I liked it but this part changes too I don't like change as a rule. <laughs> I don't know of too many people that do. Not really. But you have to accept change if you're painting. Because the painting will evolve and change throughout. It has its own personality. Well, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe. I would appreciate it. And if you'd like to see more videos, hit the bell, the bell, excuse me, and uh, YouTube will show you more of these. 
You can see more of my artwork on my website at jamiehaney.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ta-da!